direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. Great day, students! Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to find a missing term in a proportion and solve problems involving direct, partitive, and inverse proportion. Let's begin! Let's try this first example. Two jeepneys can transport 40 people. Now, how many jeepneys are needed to transport 80 people? Hmm. We can say from the given situation that the more people there is, the more jeepneys we need. It means that when the number of people increases, the number of jeepneys should increase as well. This is an example of direct proportion. But what is a direct proportion? Hmm. In a direct proportion, as one quantity increases or decreases, the other quantity increases or decreases as well at the same rate and vice versa. Now let's go back to our problem. In solving a direct proportion problem, the first step is to identify the quantities to use in the problem. Here we have the number of jeepneys and the number of people. Now let's make a table. It is given that for every two jeepneys, we can transport 40 people. And for every 80 people, we are still looking for it. That's why let's put first letter N. Now for the second step, let's set up a proportion. We have 2 over 40 equals N over 80. And for our third step, let's find the missing term which is N. To find the missing term, we are going to use the cross multiplication method. 80 times 2 is 160. 40 times n is 40n. But we are only going to write 40. And the next step is, let's divide. 160 divided by 40. It's 4. Very good. That means... There are four jeepneys that we need for 80 people. Great job! Now let's have our next problem. If 12 men can finish a work in 9 days, how many men can finish the same work in 6 days? Here in the given situation, when the number of days decreases, the number of men should increase. This is an example of inverse proportion. Now what is an inverse proportion? In an inverse proportion, one quantity increases as the other quantity decreases at the same rate and vice versa. Now let's go back to our problem. In solving inverse proportion, the first step that we need to know is to identify the quantities used in the problem. Here we have the number of men and the number of days. It is given the 12 men can finish a work in 9 days. Now for 6 days, we are still looking for it. That's why let's put N first. Now the next step is to set up a proportion as indirect by interchanging the position of N horizontally. Let's interchange the position of N horizontally to 
the given number 12. There! Now we are ready for our third step. Let's find the missing term. Our given proportion is n over 9 equals 12 over 6. Let's have cross multiplication. 6 times n is 6n. But let's write 6 only. 12 times 9 is 108. Now the next step is to divide 108 by 6. 108 divided by 6 is 18. You are right. Therefore, n is equals to 18 men. This means that to finish the same work in 6 days, we need 18 men. Great job! Now let's go to our next and final problem. A glass of jar has 64 chocolates. Mmm, yummy! Jeff, Leia, and Dave will share the chocolates in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2. Now how many chocolates will each one of them get? Here in the problem, we need to divide the 64 chocolates into Jeff, Leia, and Dave considering the given ratio. This is an example of a partitive proportion. Now what is partitive proportion? In a partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. Now let's try to solve the problem. In solving partitive proportion, the first step is to find the sum of the ratio. Since the ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2, let's add the numbers. 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4. Now the next step is Divide the base by the sum. The base is the total number of chocolates, which is 64. Let's divide 64 by the sum 4. 64 divided by 4 is 60. And for our final step, let's multiply each quantity by the quotient. 16 times 1 is 16 chocolates for Jeff. Next, 16 times 1 is 16 chocolates for Leia. Lastly, 16 times 2 is 32 chocolates for Dave. Now let's check if our answer is correct. Let us add the number of chocolates each one of them get. 16 plus 16 plus 32 is 64. Great job! Great job students, you made it! Now here are the things that you learned today.